We're joined now by the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. Dr. Walensky, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, just last month, the CDC and the FDA both said we would not need booster shots. What specifically has changed in the data that has changed your guidance? Right, several things. So first, um, in the last six weeks, we have seen Delta in this country. We've seen um, increased number of cases. We now have over 98% of our circulating virus be Delta. And just in the last week, we have started to see evidence from numerous cohorts published yesterday in our MMWR, several different studies um, in different populations that have started to show waning of vaccine effectiveness against infection, not necessarily against severe disease yet, but against infection. And so in our process to stay ahead of this virus, we're starting to see it in infection. We're concerned we will see it in, um, in severe disease, and we're planning ahead to stay ahead. All right. As we just heard in, in, in Weijia Zhang's report, uh, Dr. Celine Gounder, who was on the White House COVID Advisory Task Force, uh, disagrees. W what do you say to her? So we have several studies that have demonstrated waning effectiveness in uh, 10 million people in New York State, in 80,000 people in the Mayo Clinic, and as well in the Delta variant um, in, in healthcare workers. We've also been in collaboration and discussions with our international colleagues, and they are starting to see worsening of um, presenta presentation of worsening infection in the context of their breakthroughs. And so our plan now is to get ahead of that. We don't want to start to see that in this country. Country, which is why we're planning now for late September, after we hear from the FDA and the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, to be able to boost. How soon do you think the FDA is going to act on this? We're planning for late September, um, and we've been in discussions with the FDA and with ACIP, and we think that that's a very reasonable timeline and a timeline which we believe to be reasonable to protect Americans who've been vaccinated against severe disease. If you've, if you've had uh, the shot, the vaccination eight months out, Will you be able to get a booster in September? That's the vision and the plan. That's exactly what we're planning for right now. We have enough vaccine here to um, be able to boost, but also I want to emphasize for the 100 million Americans who have not yet been vaccinated, we will have enough vaccine for you. Please go get vaccinated because today you remain at risk of severe disease. Dr. Walensky, do you have a sense of when the data will be in on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and whether those people who got that vaccine will also need a booster? We anticipate that people who got Johnson & Johnson will also need a booster. I want to remind people that we, um, that we started using Johnson & Johnson more than two months after our mRNA vaccines. So we're getting more information. That information is a little bit delayed because we started using it a little bit later. Do you also anticipate, and at, least for the, at the very least cannot rule out at this stage, that we could end up getting an annual booster shot, much like the flu shot? Um, you know, this virus has been humbling, so I, I don't want to say never, but um, we are not necessarily anticipating that you will need this annually. Um, it does look like after this third dose, you get a really robust response. And so we will continue to follow the science, both on the vaccine side, but also on the virus side. All right. That's certainly a little bit of good news there, possibly at the end. Dr. Walensky, we appreciate you being on. Thank you very much.